Here's a custom N63 turbo upgrade that I'm doing where I have to sleeve these inlets. I'll show you what that looks like. Two of them I have already sleeved. There's a difference in the TU covers and the non-TU covers. Here I'm doing two TU covers that have been modified to be non-TU covers. The difference is they have this diverter valve port. This one it's all welded up. This is what it looks like without the modification. So that's the one where it has a diverter valve port on there. I can't remember which is TU and which isn't. I think the TU one might have the diverter valves. Not really sure. Anyway, this one didn't have the diverter valve. I sleeved it, so there's no blow-off valve to block off there. See, this one had the blow-off valve on it, but it's since been welded up. And I pressed this inlet over top of the blow-off valve hole. This is what it would look like had that not be done, been done. See, the blow-off valve hole is still there. So the pipe is going to go directly over that and block that off. So I machined these out. I have custom plates for them to make this a GTX 3076R Gen 2. Here's the sleeves that I made. Well, two are inserted and one is ready to be inserted. We have about a 3000 press fit. I want to make sure this goes in pretty smoothly. If it starts to lock up or seize up on the way down, then it's going to be really hard to fix that. So heating up this aluminum will expand it so that the pipe can, or the inlet can go in there. Usually, sometimes it'll even go in there without having to even press it in if you heat it up enough. 